zero. Ignition. And lift off. Go Falcon, go GPS. Vehicle is pitching down range. Stage one, chamber pressures are nominal. T plus 36 seconds. SpaceX launch engineers report nominal conditions on Falcon 9. We begin the trip to space carrying the GPS-3 satellite. Merlin engine's about to throttle down. We're in the nominal throttle power bucket. Telemetry. Decreasing acceleration of preparation for maximum dynamic pressure. Great views looking aft towards Cape Canaveral. Vehicle is supersonic. We're throttled back up to full power. We're out of the throttle bucket and we're supersonic. Now from here on, even though velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing. And that's resulting max on Q. less loads on the Falcon 9. And you've heard the call out, we're through max Q, so the loads are now decreasing on the launch vehicle. And back engine chill has started. That call out says the bleed valve on second stage engine is open. And that's beginning a final chill of the MVAC engine prior to second stage ignition. All's looking good with the stage one trajectory. And we've got three events coming up in quick succession. We're gonna have main engine cutoff, MECO as we call it. The first and second stages will then separate. And then we will have ignition of the second stage engine to propel Falcon 9 into the first parking orbit. We're beginning to throttle down the first stage engines to hold 4G constant acceleration. Coming up on main engine cutoff. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've got, as you can hear the cheering in the background, successful stage separation. Second stage is now under power of the single Merlin vacuum engine. You may have noticed some curved pieces uh, of metal come off the end of the nozzle right after ignition. That's normal. These are ground Those handling are tubes. Following nominal trajectories. They're not needed in flight. We hear the call out. We're following nominal trajectory. With the left side of your screen, you can see the first stage grid fins, the titanium grid fins have deployed. Coming up next, fairing separation. Acquisition of signal, Poe Monkey. Fairing separation confirmed. A nice view from the second stage camera showing successful fairing deploy as Falcon 9 is passing through 110 kilometers altitude. Now we will be attempting to retrieve these new fairing halves with the help of our contracted recovery vessel, HOS Briarwood. Now currently Falcon 9 second stage heading northeast along the U.S. coast. We are sending telemetry down to the SpaceX Bermuda ground station. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal now as we pass four minutes and 20 seconds into flight, all systems are go. Acquisition as, signal Bermuda. As Falcon 9 carries GPS into space.